Here we have Aeschylus californica, or the California buckeye. So the reason why this looks so unhappy is because it is a summer deciduous plant. So I'm here in September, we're nearing the end of summer, beginning of autumn. It's approximately hot as hell. The leaves are beginning to turn yellow and fall. Some of the best ways to ID this plant. So the California buckeye has a palmately lobed leaf that is oppositely arranged on the stem. So there you can see we've got opposite arrangement here and here. These are the petioles and then here the palmately compound leaves typically have about five to seven leaflets and they've got very, very, very fine serrations on them. The venation is strongly pinnate and here you can tell it's palmately compound because all of the leaflets are attaching at a central point on the petiole. The bark of Aeschylus californica so this one, it can be a small shrub, but generally it's a tree. And the bark, it is quite smooth, not very furrowed, and it's a whitish, grayish color. This time of year, if you can't find the leaves, the best way to identify this is by, drum roll, the fruit. So the fruit, it's pendulous, so it hangs down. Uh, it's roughly pear-shaped and they get to be about two inches or so long. So these, they're fleshy, but they're quite hard. And further into the autumn, they'll turn a nice brownish color. There's a couple of seeds inside of there. So this is very important for wildlife, very important plant. Um, other notif noticeable factors here. So let me zoom in. There you can see one of the fruits, pendulous towards the top of the tree. A couple more over there. So depending on the habitat, these things can get quite large, but they're generally about this size. 